I mean, having a pick that gets banned 60% of times just makes you wonder. What's so broken about him? I'm gonna tell you right now, he is not. Like, not at all. If you play stupid with Zack, you're gonna die. A lot. Like any other champ. And it just so happens that I have played so many games with Zack, I now know what to look out for. Thing is that, in the proper hands, Zack, just like I said, every other champion, can be very useful. So without any further delay, guys, let's get into the last game from my promos. So the game started with me heading to mid to try and kill the Ezreal. Um, while I do, it was at the expense of Echo dying and me wasting a flash to get the kill, even though I had red buff. Right after, I noticed that bottom lane has been pushed a lot, so I just rushed there to make a gank happen while I still have my red buff. Uh, thankfully, I did manage to uh, burn uh, Misfortune's flash early on, so once she uh, reinitiated, uh, we managed to get a kill on her easy, and I just got back to farming the jungle. So as you may have noticed, the enemy bottom lane didn't ward their push at all, so I just took advantage of that and just farmed bottom a bit more. Getting Lucian fat and ready for, you know, the late game. I do have to say that the enemy support did have a big role to play in this because um, as a support not warding can really ditch your, your team uh, early and later on of course. So you may ask yourself, um, I ganked bottom, I ganked mid a bit, so what about top? Well, the reason why I didn't gank too much of the top lane was because it really didn't need my help. Um, Lissandra really handled herself fine even against the Raven and in this instance here where we had vision over the Gragas, I was there, I was ready to, to help, you know? And with this amazing play here to keep him away from uh, my Lissandra, we get a very nice um, kill on him. Yeah, he miscalculated here, he thought he could heal her, but he couldn't, so I get the kill. Right about this point, we are starting to fuck up a bit because, hey, we are just chasing the enemy team on fine and dandy and we see a Raven off position which we decided to go for and why shouldn't we? It was an easy kill. But this is my first mistake in the game because slingshotting in the Drake pit causes me to just tank too much unnecessary damage, not being able to do anything and I didn't pay any attention to Misfortune which just destroyed me and the rest of my team. This being another bad play for us, we see the enemy team starting to, to do an Inferno Drake, which we were of course very interesting, interested in getting. Um, me and Echo managed to pick up uh, the Gragas, but we see the uh, Israel and the rest of the team closing in on us. I decided to um, get their attention a bit so my team could, you know, get the Drake, which we do. Uh, thankfully, but to the expense of me dying and wasting my passive again. I don't know, I would say that this is the kind of game that makes me pumped when uh, I'm playing, or at least I'm considering to play League of Legends, you guys. Because uh, there were good moments for us, there were bad moments for us, but the game just ended up being very, very entertaining and it really exercised my limits and the limits of my team, I'm sure. Um, you may not have seen this very often, but the best item to make uh, Zack a damage dealer while also being very very tanky is Iceborne. Like, um, going ability power on Zack may, may sound like a good idea, especially in normal games and, you know, when you want to play for fun and not be very serious at the game, but I have found out that if you are um, against enemy ADCs, you can actually kill them on your own very easily when having an Iceborne, like you will later see in the game, I, I actually get it, and in, it just it's just so, so useful, you guys. So we see the enemy team trying to get the Drake here, um, fortunately my um, Lissandra stops MF from, you know, ulting, and I get close to the Israel, but unfortunately he kills my 
Cassandra, and Kit the Drake. But I have passive, and you can see here, guys, why Zach is so annoying. <laughs> Even though I end up dying, I kill their ABC, and that makes them more salty. After that, we continue to misplay a series of very, very bad team fights, and yeah, we end up losing our bottom inhibitor, and at this point, our morale was not looking very good. But, instead of FFing the game and just staying in the fountain, we decide to uh, up our team play and get some nice kills mid, where we cut um, the enemy Riven and MF off guard. And, of course, since we had the chance, and Gragas was dead, we get the Baron. I don't know you guys, since I uh, completed my Iceborne, I felt I, I really did, like, I really felt that the game was over. I started ditching so much damage and the CC from uh, from the Iceborne buff, I don't know you guys, I just, I just see it as such a good item to have. Um, the armor, of course, works, works great against the enemy ADC and being Zack, I'm a I'm a gap closer and I have increased mobility with my ult and my knockbacks and stuff. But yeah, um, I could take on the enemy ADC and just provide more CC other than my skills to, to my team. And yeah, at this point the enemy team just starts losing it all, they couldn't do much. I mean, uh, sure, they did have items such as uh, Gauntlet, I mean, uh, uh, <clears throat> Guardian Angel, sure, yeah. Uh, my, uh, my Lucian, he was getting strong, guys. Like, as you can see here, he, he has Guardian, he has the mobility, they literally can't do anything to him. And the Raven here is trying to dodge my slingshot and she even has the mobility buff from the scuttle crab which doesn't help her at all escape death so that's another baron for us um, right after that we uh, we decided to contest the elder dragon which we get easy by the way because we were hell hell a lot more strong than them but uh, nonetheless, it was game over at this point. Um, the enemy DC couldn't do anything, the support couldn't do anything. Um, yeah, it was, it was done right at this point. I mean, getting two buffs with that stronger team, you can't really turn the game uh, around after that. Anyways, you guys, um, this is pretty much the end of the game and of this uh, short series. If you liked, please leave a like or subscribe or leave a comment. Do whatever you feel like. I am aiming to uh, continue uploading League of Legends content to this channel, so if you're pumped up for, for that, like I am, please let me know. It really means a lot. Um, anyways, my name is Hakuno. Actually, that's my nickname, but whatever. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.